tonight. Many of them were scared, especially after this weekend shooting in Colorado Springs and after four students were stabbed to death in Idaho. But sadly, some of the students we talked to didn't say they were too surprised that something like this could happen. Now the school does tell us they are offering resources and services to those who are struggling. When you come up to a school and there's two helicopters, police cars, fire engines, and you don't know what's going on, it literally that feeling in the pit of your stomach like this can't be happening and that's scary. Monica Tucker drove to Kasumnis River College where her daughter is a student after getting this text saying to shelter in place immediately. This is probably a parent. I don't care how old your child is. Worst nightmare ever. The campus went on lockdown this morning after school officials said a threat was made in person by a student. The threat of violence was made. Um, uh, the officers were trying to find the individual and when it was clear they could not find him, we, we issued a lockdown immediately. We saw law enforcement with guns drawn searching campus and inside this parking garage. In a situation where we know the suspect like today, they're going building by building looking for that suspect and identifying any any signs that that the person was there. In this case, they couldn't find any evidence that the person was there. In fact, some evidence that he, that they may have left campus. And then, you know, I realized what happened. Like, holy Toledo's, I went straight into praying. Lisa stayed, said she contacted her family, scared. They told us to stay near away from windows, and so I went to back to my study area. Another student was in his math class. We uh, locked the doors, of course, and then we, we want to make sure all the students are, are, the hallways are clear with any students. Uh, we did saw a uh, student walk by and then we grabbed her inside the classroom. Although campus is back open now, the impact of what could have been is leaving many on edge. I think I'm actually going to sleep in the bed with her tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cuddle with her. We still cuddle. We're really close and this will probably be the night where I just hang on to her and pray for all the parents who have been through this and maybe didn't walk away with their kid. Just absolutely a really scary start to what should be the Thanksgiving holiday week. Uh, we did speak to other folks here on campus and officials now tell us there's no more threat left on campus, but they're still having classes and services be remote for the rest of the night. Now, in terms of who the student is who made this threat, the police investigation is ongoing, but school officials say they do know who it was. We're live on campus. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News.